Say something like you're gonna say something. Check. One, two, three. Check. I'm Erin Glasnovich, and I am the executive director here at the gorgeous Orpheum Theater in Galesburg, Illinois. And I'm Joey Lucero. I work here too. We'd like to teach you a little bit about the theatrical tradition of the ghost light. So, what exactly is a ghost light? Well, a ghost light is a single lamp that is left burning on stage when the theater is unoccupied and would otherwise be completely dark. Oftentimes, it is usually placed at the center downstage edge of the stage to ensure the drop-off is visible. The primary function of a ghost light has to do with safety. A dark stage can be a hazardous place indeed. Set pieces, chairs, music stands, speakers, or even the stage edge itself are potential dangers when the stage is dark. And the ghost light is used to provide the faintest light by which to find your way to whatever light switch will further illuminate the space. Aside from this obvious practical purpose, there are a number of superstitions associated with the origin and purpose of ghost lights. Various theatrical superstitions are used to explain the presence of a ghost light on stage. A popular supernatural tradition holds that every theater has a ghost or similar supernatural entity, and some theaters have traditional methods to appease these ghosts that date back to the earliest days of their operation. For example, the Palace Theater in London keeps two seats in their balcony permanently fastened in the open position to provide seating for the theater ghost. Similar superstitions hold that ghost lights provide opportunities for ghosts to perform on stage, thus providing them with amusement and hopefully preventing them from cursing the theater or sabotaging a production. This is also used to explain the Broadway tradition of theaters being closed at least one day a week, with the light left on so as not to let the stage go dark. Some other superstitions claim the ghost light is not for the benefit of the ghosts, but a means of warding them off. Our ghost light has been in use since 2014 and is a simple floor lamp from the technical director's old apartment. The Orpheum has no specific ghost light traditions. Its use, however, was inspired by a story told to staff by a former building manager about him walking into the dark theater one day, unaware that the orchestra pit cover had been removed from the edge of the stage. As he walked from the crew entrance to what he thought was the edge of the stage, he stepped out into the air and fell a short four feet to the floor of the orchestra pit, landing on his hands and knees. While he avoided serious injury, the story demonstrated the potential dangers uniquely associated with navigating dark stages and was enough to inspire the use of the ghost light. It uses an LED bulb and is therefore cheap to run. As for the Orpheum ghosts and their habits, well that's a story for another day. That about wraps it up for us here on the Orpheum. The Orf. That about wraps it up for us here on the Orpheum circuit. Thanks for watching. We hope there was something you were able to take away from this video. If there's anything you'd like for us to show you or tell you about, comment that below. Don't forget to follow us. Like, share, subscribe. And if you like this video, please consider donating to the Orpheum Theater to keep more videos coming. To find out how, follow the link in the description. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you at the show.